Good morning, Pages. My name is Derek Rogan. And I'm Leslie Garcia. And today's Friday, November 2nd, and this, this is PTV. PTV. Before we start, did you know if you were to look at the Earth from the North Pole, it'd be rotating clockwise, but if you were to look at it from the South Pole, it'd be counterclockwise? The more you know. Thank you, Mr. Lang. Freedom's Think Tank will meet today after school in room 542. Today's SAT word is blatant, which means done openly and ashamedly. We would have a video, but stuff happens. Congratulations go out to all the new members of the National Honor Society. The new member list is posted on the bulletin board outside room 536. Freedom High School will be hosting the ASVAB on November 6th. Students interested in taking the ASVAB need to sign up in guidance. Now let's check out what Ms. Hunt has for us today. Patriots, I'm Miss Hunt. I'm here to introduce to you an exciting new program that we're going to be starting here at Freedom. It's our ad Attendance Incentive Program. The benefits of this program for the next two marking periods, if you have perfect attendance for the next two marking periods, your name will be entered into a contest to dunk not only Mr. Utes, but also Dr. Border. So if you are here for the next two marking periods every day, your name will be entered to a contest to dunk Mr. Utes as well as Dr. Border. I know you're going to do an exciting job, and I'll see you here every day. Have a great day, Patriots. Will you be the one to, doc, to dunk Dr. Border? Definitely will be me. Definitely will be. <laughs> Attention Patriots, tickets for the district championship football game uh, against Dr. Phillips today will be on sale during both lunches, lunch shifts uh, in front of the 400 building. These tickets, are, which are normally $6 at the gate, will be sold for $5 and will prevent you from waiting in line on Friday to enter the stadium. Now let's see what Locker Room has for us today. Hey Patriots, I'm Nikki. And I'm Ben. Welcome to another edition of The Locker Room. Uh, this episode's wardrobe is school spirit. The volleyball team ended their season when they took on the Panthers of Dr. Phillips in the first round of the district tournament. They were shut out in three straight sets. The team finishes with the season with a 10 and 13 record. On Friday, the swimming and diving team competed in district championships. We would have multiple swimmers make it to the championship, but they would not go any farther. Diver Giovanni Villanueva placed second in districts and would move on to the regional tournament tomorrow at the YMCA on iDrive. The boys' soccer team was in preseason action on Monday as they took on Haggerty. Andres Rodriguez would score the first, free, first for Freedom, and then Santiago Patino would score two more goals as Freedom won 3-0. The girls' team played their first game of the season against Wakaiva, and the girls would dominate the Mustangs on the scoreboard as Nicole Doolittle would net in four goals. Victoria Colas would add two more, and one goal would be added by Alexa Santeliz, Carrie Skinner, and Chloe Van Bart. The final would be 9-1. Baseball is coming up in spring, and Jeff caught up with Donald Dominguez. You guys are in fall ball right now, currently. How do you feel about the season going towards the spring? Uh, I think we're going to have better expectations than last year. I mean, we came up a little rough last year, and I think we're going to be a lot better this year. So, yeah. History was made on the 18th of October as the football team defeated Boone for the first time in school history and gave us a spot in the playoffs, which is the first time since 2004. The score in this game was 46 to 22, and Jeff Bidette made school history as he had 179 yards receiving and a touchdown. Jimmy Keeley would go for 14 for 25 with 255 passing yards passing. Devin Cortez would have two touchdowns of his own as he ran for 105 yards. Then the team played Jones in the homecoming game, and the stadium was once again packed with fans as an early shootout ensued. To find out what happened play by play, let's head over the highlight reel. It was a shootout early between the Tigers and the Patriots. Jones would get on the board first with a kickoff touchdown return, as you see here, by their number three, who will be going to FSC Cousins. Freedom's offense would get on the field, would go on the field to go to the end zone with the help of this run by Devin Cortese and wide receiver Jeff Badette. This pass from Jimmy Keeley to Jeff. Shaky leg, but dead. And he would go all the way for the end zone, making the score 14 7 for Freedom. Still in the first quarter. Ben Jones would once again return a kickoff for a touchdown. 
once again by number three. Freedom once again went down the field with this pass to Jeff Bidet and then later on to a touchdown pass to Jonathan Boone. Then in the second half, Freedom's defense would go full throttle and stop Jones Tigers offense. At the end of the game, Freedom would win 40 to 26. Tonight is the main event for the team. They host district foe Dr. Phillips. It will be a fight to see who gets to sit on top of the district and win the district. The game begins at 7.30 p.m. and with Holly and Horror Nights over, we can, we can pack the stadium full. Come out loud and support your Patriots. Also, too, that game will be, if you have Bright House, the game will be on Channel 47. begins at 7.30 p.m. We'd also like to announce that the winner of the trivia question was Daniel Gibson. He got, my, he got the Orlando City right. That will do it for the locker room. I am Ben. And I'm Nikki. Let's head back to the news desk with Derek and Leslie. Congrats go out to our Freedom Boys, and hopefully you'll we'll be able to do it tonight when we face DP. <laughs> FCCLA will be holding a meeting today and Monday after school in room 410. Freedom High School is having a 10-year anniversary celebration for December 6th through 9th. Um, it will be a carnival with wristbands available for $15 through $20. Seniors, there will be a tailgate today before the game at 5 p.m. Tickets will be $5. You can buy them from either myself or Juan Durler. And juniors are welcome to come, so come on out for the last home game of the 2012-2013 school year. If you didn't know, my lacrosse sweater is right there. That's it. We'll see you next week. 